Hello, my friends. How are you doing? It is time for some more AI news. And let's start with the most important message here. Yours truly is going to hold a talk at the Atlanta Generative AI Meetup. This is a free online event where you can join through Zoom. You don't need to download Zoom. It also runs in the browser. I'm going to talk about the risks and opportunities of AI in a new age of art. So I think it's going to be really interesting. You can also ask questions through the chat and I would really enjoy if you come there join me for this event. Then here is a side note. I have started streaming my gaming sessions. I thought when I spend time gaming in my free time why not share these best moments with you and just hang out with you. We can talk and chat and just have fun. Let's get back to AI news. Let's go here to the Microsoft Designer and it has two main functions. The first one is that you describe a design that you want to create or you choose one from these test prompts over here. So for example, let's click on this design here. You can see now this is a prompt over here. When I click on generate, what this is doing, it's not creating an image. Instead, this is creating a full design for me. So for example, you say, well, I like this one here. You can now click on this button down here that it says customize design. And when you open it up, you will see that you have now these different design and text elements and you can edit them because this is now an actual multi-layer design. And the interesting thing is also on the right side here, you have multiple other designs that are based on the same design concept. So this makes the process a lot easier and faster. Also reminds me of what Canva is doing where they have basically the same thing. But there is also another functionality here. When you look down here, it's says generate image. And when you click on that, you can now enter a prompt and just click here to generate that image. So here, for example, I've generated an image of a bunny sitting in a forest wearing a Christmas hat. I would say it looks pretty good. And because Microsoft is heavily invested into OpenAI, I'm pretty sure this is based on the DALI AI technology. From what I've seen so far, you can use this AI online for free. I'm not quite sure if there is a daily limit on how many images you can create, but you can certainly try out the technique for creating the images, but also for creating these designs. The next news I have for you is called Style Drop, and this is a Google research project which has a really interesting ability. Because what this does is you can use a single image, and from that image, you can transfer the style to other images. So when we scroll down on the page, you see, for example, here you have a watercolor painting in a kind of childlike style. And then this is applied to the prompts that are created. And on their page, they have multiple other styles and designs on how this transfers to these different tasks of the same prompt so that you can actually compare that from style to style and see the different results that this is getting you. One that I really enjoy here is this example here with this line art kind of online icon design, very simplified, but it transfers really well into the different designs and also creating really good looking coherent designs, which is surprising to me. As you can see here, most of these elements, for example, the penguin, but also the racing car, the coffee pot down here, and also the piano have all of their important elements represented in here. So that is really surprising and the results are very beautiful. Next, I want to show you a project that is called Row Up or Roop. Not quite sure how that is pronounced. This is more of a hobby project for now. This is doing something really amazing. You can use a single photo of a person and then create a deep fake video from that. So here on the screen, you can see multiple examples where the face is exchanged. And I'm absolutely stunned by how well this works from the transfer and from how the face is looking, not just how the face is applied and also the lighting, but also anatomically, the face actually looks like that person, which is not easy to do because often also, for example, the head shape is different or the facial features of the person is different. So this is applying it in a very nice and very consistent and also coherent way. I'm absolutely stunned by that. Next, I want to show you a tool that is called 
uncropped. This is by Stability AI and basically what it is doing is to outpaint an image. This is similar to what you can do in Photoshop, but also in Stable Diffusion, like for example, Automatic 1111 or Invoke AI. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video from me on how to do that in Automatic 1111. So here it's very simple. You simply click here, you select the image you want to extend, click on open, and then you have here these handles on which you can decide how big you want to have the image. You click on next and then this is automatically extending the image for you without even needing a prompt. So this is very similar to what you can see in Photoshop. And as you can see here, we have four different examples that look really good. I'm very surprised. Sometimes it has here some elements like here's a bit of fur and here we have a disfigured Santa Claus, but often it works very well and it picks up very good on the original style of the image. Stability AI has acquired the company ClipDrop and they have done these tools for many years. For example, here you have a cleanup where you can remove objects from the image. You have a background removal tool. You have a relighting tool. Of course, they have also added things here like generate images, replace the background and other things that are done with AI and that are provided by Stability AI. And this is a clear sign that Stability AI is trying to look for different use cases on how to create products that are useful for their customers, especially individual customers, which is a good move because it means they are not just thinking about the big corporate deals. They are also thinking about what kind of services could be most useful to us. Another AI news are the two videos I recently dropped, one from yesterday about map bashing. This is building new creative concepts out of control net maps. It's a really creative method that gives you a lot of control over your composition. And another video that is good for ads, but also for all kinds of other images that works with masks. So you can replace the background of an image and place the character with 100% consistency into a new environment. So check out these two videos and maybe see you in one of my gaming live streams. Let me know in the comments what you think about these AI news. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.